everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's me, Pixels01. I'm back! Thank you, thank you. I knew you all missed me. Alright, well, surprise, surprise! I've returned with yet another Valentine's Day episode. What? Two in one month? I'm a little sneaky, little sneak, little sneak, sneak. And I have a special guest, someone near and dear to my heart, who you've seen before, Spiky Bullner! What's up? Hey, it's your boy, Odd Bottle Air, Spiky. It's nice <laughs> to see everyone again. How's it going? I haven't seen y'all since, since Sprite Cranberry. <laughs> we all remember what happened <laughs> with Mr. Cranberry. Back up! Back the fuck up! Can I put my ball? <laughs> But besides our last adventure with the um, <clears throat> Cranberry Man, uh, today is something special. My dear friend has agreed to voice act the one and only Grunkle Stan and Grunkle Stanford in this game. That's right! <laughs> Welcome, Grunkle Spikey! How's it going, everybody? It's me, your Grunkle Spikey! <laughs> Get ready to fall in love, ladies and gentlemen. He's available. Let's go. <laughs> That's right, folks. If you haven't guessed, this is a Grunkle dating sim. That's right. They made one. They did it. Those mad lads. Now, unlike the last one, if I am correct, this one is actually completed. So, we might actually have a full gameplay here. So, really excited for that. Uh, links in the description to play the game yourself. Go support the creators. I believe Ladies, just gonna throw this out there. When you're 70 years old, you just stop caring. So, uh, you know, I'm available. <laughs> yes, he's a good guy. He'll sell you gator teeth. <laughs> Um, I, will, I will make sure to sell you gator teeth at a good price. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. What a cat. <laughs> Anyways, so. <laughs> but yeah, I believe Alex Hirsch himself played the game. It was incredible. It was so funny. So, um, you know, he was the guy who voice acted him. Uh, Grunkle Stan, by the way. Oh, shit, really? Yeah, he actually did. Yeah, it was funny as hell. I'll show you later after the gameplay. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, without further ado, let's get into it. It's time to fall in love with the Grunkles. <laughs> ah, good old road trips, full of promise and ripe with potential for adventure. Soul searching and incredible scenery. Or at least that's what you thought before the novelty wore thin. As of now, your legs are cramping up, you've exhausted all your travel playlists two times over, and your stomach is begging for something to eat. On top of all that, you're pretty sure you're lost. Fucking stupid. Driving through Oregon paints a picture of trees, trees and more trees, especially on endless winding roads that you're taking up north. All that breaks the pattern is the sign that zips past with the words that you're just able to make out. Gravity falls. The road continues on. Giant redwoods looming on both sides. You find yourself anticipating something, because as you drive on, you can feel it. Something strange is bound to happen, like grunkles. Something weird. And that's when it happens. Your car picks up speed. The change came out of nowhere, and you quickly put your foot on the brakes. But horrifyingly, the car seems to be driving on its own willpower. What the fuck? Supercar? Holy shit. Oh my god. Trying to uh, stay no. <laughs> oh, no. oh, this music is fucking grating. Okay. Trying to stay calm despite the panic welling in your chest, you pull the emergency brake, only to find that the car resists. It keeps moving forward. What the fuck? Like something is pulling it. The car begins to rattle. The wheels screech against the country road until you're screaming. What? Crash! Uh oh. Uh oh. What happened? Did we die? Is this heaven? There's no. smoke. You're in hell. There's <laughs> smoke. <laughs> You're not allowed to smoke in heaven. Why is there smoke? You cough. <coughs> Fumble for the door and manage to undo the lock just before the door is wrenched outward from your grasp. Something lands on your shoulder. A hand. <gasps> oh my god. Fingers. I love fingers. Are you alright? I'm gonna assume. Oh shit! Oh shit, my bad. It's okay. 
Uh, okay, uh, a man stands at your open car door, his hand on your shoulder leaves to tilt your head up, and he pulls a flashlight from his coat. What kind of flashlight? I'm sorry. Uh, shining it in your eyes, two blinks. <laughs> two blinks, he lets your chin go. Thank you. Thank you for blinding me, sir. His eyes dart over the rest of you, looking for injuries. Still stunned, all you do is watch. What's your name? That is so good. <laughs> You already know. <laughs> you already know! I'm not! Simp. Simp. I'm not even lying. I I uh, could do okay. the grunkles. Okay, fair, fair. I, I am a woomph yet again. <laughs> Simp. I'm Zen for Pines. Ford for short. I'd shake your hand, but you look shaken up enough as it is. You seem fine, as far as I can tell. But you shouldn't head back out there anytime soon. Where on earth were you driving in such a hurry? Oh, jeez, I don't know. My car fucking took over, and I fucking almost died, sir. I think I have a concussion. <laughs> you open your mouth to explain when a voice calls from inside the house. <gasps> oh my god, is it the second one? Oh my god, is this a threesome? Oh shit, oh shit, so soon? Oh god. Point Dexter, this had better not be another one of your experiments again. I've had this place rebuilt too many times to- He can experiment on me! <laughs> I shout with my fucking concussion. <laughs> the owner oh, of- <laughs> I love that outfit for him. Let's go. Let's go, yes! The big fucking gold chain. Swaggy! The doubloon? Oh my god. The doubloon! Let's go. Let's go. The owner of the voice walks out of the house and stops. Slack jawed at the sight of your car is and the what what? Slack jawed at the sight of your car in the side of you're guessing his house. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. You must have hit your head earlier because you could swear you're seeing double. Double the grunk, double the snack. Mm mm mm. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Sweet Moses Ford, you've done it this time. What? I had nothing to do. This had nothing to do with me. I was testing my magnet gun and- You bitch! You made me crash! Oh, that's a lawsuit! <laughs> it must have pulled this victim of circumstance into our house. I suppose it is entirely my fault. I'm, I'm incredibly sorry. Reassure him. Reassure yourself or cry. <laughs> that is the ultimate guilt trip. I'm gonna fucking cry. Just, oh, just... no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, should I be nice? Should I reassure it's, it's him? It depends. It depends. Oh no! I, I it is. It is. Oh, uh, what would what, what would Simp do? What would <laughs> Simp do? That is a good question because I would, I would. <laughs> you would. I thought this character's name was Simp. No, it's good. me. Shut up. This is my fantasy. It's you. You're just. You're voicing. This is, this is me. I'm a Simp. I admit it. I'm sorry. You're like, Simp. Yes. <laughs> That's the big secret. Big twat twist. Twist, twist, plot reveal. Thanks for admitting it. Sorry, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know what? You know what? Um, <laughs> but he made my car crash. Cars are not cheap. <sighs> okay, for the sake of the plot, I'll reassure him. Unsure of why you're reassuring this mystery man who just wrecked your car, you give an awkward shrug. Yeah, you know, I might have permanent brain damage, but you know what? You got that ass, boy. I'll let you slide. It's the this brain damage. It's the brain damage. It's the brain damage. I have permanent brain damage because of this man. Damage. But look at those shoulder pads. Mm, mm, mm. And the brain damage. <laughs> oh, and the brain damage. Yum. Uh, it's alright. You know, it's fine. No. I must have done something wrong. A wire mix-up, perhaps. Or the potentiometer. <laughs> That's a weird word. They're talking about your other mistake, Sixer. Oh, this fucking dude. I'm with Stan already. Stan's my dream guy. Fuck this guy. Fuck you, Ford. You made me fucking crash, and all you can worry about is yourself? Ew! Ladies, love yourself, first and foremost. Fuck the hell. <laughs> oh. Right. Yeah, yeah, you know, because I have a fucking bloody head, my skull's open, you know, my car's ruined. I got that from my dead grandma. <laughs> hey, look, it's fine, all right? Sure, there's a dent in the hood and in the shack signage, 
and a crack on the windshield that looks like an ominous triangle, but I'm sure she'll still run. Okay, okay. You try to start the car, it sputters, but ultimately nothing happens. Well, what now? You feel like crying. <laughs> I would have cried anyway! Cry. Cry, cry. baby. Cry, little bitch. <laughs> cry in cry. front of the Grunkles. The Grunkles <laughs> demand a tear sacrifice. <laughs> Your tears will help fuel their instruction. <laughs> The, the tears fuel the, the mystery shack and Ford's inventions. That's why you were brought to Gravity Falls in the first place to fucking cry. I also love that, that like any other day I can read stuff, but the minute I that we start recording or <laughs> anything like that, uh, my reading ability goes out the. Oh, same, same. Right. I can't read for shit. <laughs> uh, even worse, I have dyslexia. So let's just take this this ride and you fucking have some enjoy dyslexia? it. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, mystery man. Oh. Well, let's call a tow truck for this unfortunate soul here and forget. I'll take care of it. You're right. It is cheaper to tow it yourself, Sixer. Get the magnet cut out again. Oh, I forgot we haven't gotten Stan's name yet, so he's just Mystery Man. My yeah. bad. I thought that was someone else. <laughs> Stanley, I'm going to fix this. What? Ha! <laughs> you? Fix this mess? I've figured out a few... Oh, wait a minute. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm getting them backwards. No, no, no. Don't I've worry about it. I've figured out a few alien vehicles in my time. Yeah. Nah, are you kidding me? It'd take some sort of miracle worker to bring this baby back to life. And this miracle worker is on vacation. Stanley, a moment. Oh, uh oh, they're gonna fight. Ford and Stanley <laughs> turn. <laughs> Such ink babies. Ford and Stanley turn. I'm trying to narrate. <laughs> Sorry, sorry, sorry. Go ahead. Run don't don't mind us. Uncle Ford, come on, don't, man. Don't, don't mind, don't mind I, this me. This is supposed to be a romantic story. How am I supposed to romance under these conditions? No, no, no. Go ahead. Go ahead. Sorry, sorry. I already crashed your car. Keep going. Thank you. <clears throat> <laughs> Which way are you doing it, Stanley? Okay, Stanford? <laughs> if you want these 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 demonic cheeks, you better start acting right. All right. Hey yo. Hey yo. <laughs> That's right. I said it. Anyway. <laughs> oh my god. Ford and Stanley turn away and you're left to your thoughts. Who can anticipate a car accident like this in the middle of a road trip? You take care of the car, but how are you going to get home? They run buses out here, right? So you take a bus out of here and then... Oh shit, you came back quick as fuck. <laughs> uh oh. Ford clears his throat, shifting a little awkwardly in place. It seems they finished their talk. What did y'all talk about? Was it was it monster sex? <laughs> sorry, y'all. That's inappropriate. I'm sorry. Just just <laughs> Stanley, Stanley's face. Just just why you said the whole like, I'm talking about monster sex was perfect. I love that. So there are a few options. My brother Stanley here could drive you out to town to find a place for you to stay for the night. Or you could stay here. We have some maps and information you can look at at the, at the gift shop. And in the morning, we can help you get a car. What do you say? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Like it was even a question. <laughs> get your footy pajamas out, fellas. <laughs> Just as you're about to answer, a high-pitched voice comes from inside the house. Okay, this might be me. <clears throat> yep. yep, 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 I see her. Grunkle Stan, picture this, a whole week of, oh my gosh! I'm not a good Mabel. <laughs> the girl that runs out of the house comes to a halt at the side of your car. Oh, great. Grunkle Ford? Why is it that automatically, <laughs> why is it everyone automatically thinks I'm at fault? Because you suck. You fucking broke my car. Well, this is my fault, but I've invented- I've invited Sib here to- <laughs> Grunkle Ford- wait, wait, Grunkle Ford, what's his simp? You'll learn when you're older. 
sides. It's still twenty. It's still twenty fourteen. We're fine. <laughs> We're fine for now. <laughs> <laughs> well, this time it is my fault. But I've invited Simp here to stay with us for the night. If you'd like, I'm sure I can fix this. I just have to figure out how. Ooh, that was mysterious, Uncle Four. Ooh, do that again. <laughs> it's just a sigh. I am a simp, okay? I love these men. I love men! I know, Spikey. you named yourself I love simp. men! Okay, Charlie, maybe you keep that down a little bit. Just, 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 <laughs> I'm yelling, I'm maybe, yelling. Maybe you, maybe you keep that down I am true. yelling this in front of a small, innocent child and her fucking <laughs> grunkles. I love men! <laughs> I have a okay, concussion. Okay, right. Um, give, anyways, me, give me to the I can, hospital. I can take a look. <laughs> Come back, Maybe, Maybe I can take a look. Uh, being on vacation's pretty boring. And the old Stanmobile hasn't needed a tune-up yet, so it wouldn't be too hard to work on something in the meantime. Thank you, Stanley. I'm sure I can put something together from the gadgets I have laying around, and if you need any specialized tools to help with the job. Can I just say real quick that the art for this game is freaking incredible? It is really good. Like, y'all did your shit, man. Props yes, to them. This if is, I can, this is wonderful. <laughs> like, if I can find their Twitter or Tumblr or something, definitely gonna link it in the description. Oh, link, 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 link. Yeah, fuck out of that. Go support like, them. I think, I think there's an author tab at the beginning. Oh the yeah, yeah, definitely. I'm, yeah, I'm just, gonna... just show it. Just show it at the end of the video. Look your credits. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, seriously, go support them. This is incredible work for a fan made project. Absolutely. And the characters feel very right, uh, yeah. writing wise. It's so, so good. Okay, okay, that's my turn. <clears throat> and let me introduce myself. I'm Mabel. You can ask me anything. I pretty much know everything there is to know about this place. Wait, wait, hold on. I haven't said anything yet. I appreciate your opportunity. Shut the fuck up, me! Shut the fuck up! <laughs> I just grabbed myself. Shut the fuck up! This is our one chance to pound a grunkle. You're fucking ruining it. <laughs> and to repair your car. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, it'll be good on. <laughs> yeah, it'll be good as new in my hands. I mean, look at this. Look at my stand mobile. She's been through the ringer who knows how many times, and she's still a beaut. Damn. He points out at a red car. Blah, 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 blah. He points out at a red car parked in the distance. I'm pointing at a red car parked in the distance. <laughs> you can't really see how beautiful it is at this distance. But I sound pretty confident. Grunkle Stan got so fed up with my lack of reading, he just took over. No, no, no you're, you're fine. I'm just messing No, I know, I know, I know. Don't no, keep it. That's great. <laughs> Whenever I start messing up, Grunkle Stan or Fort just takes over. It's like, oh my god, just give me the fucking mic already. Also, also I, love, I love that they had, they actually gave uh stanley like like the uh like a blue shirt like that's very nice that's such compliments. a good color absolutely mm. oh i can't stop rushing about this game okay well oh that was really bad <laughs> well this turn of events is fortuitous let's go fortuitous. Fortu i know how to talk it's cool fortuitous for but anyways fortuitous. For Stop. It means very, very. Funny. I know what it means. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> I guess I'm just nervous because we're talking to the Grunkles. Okay, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Anyway, <laughs> free repairs, free lodging. There's no better deal to be found. And if things don't work out, the town is probably has some sort of auto repair shop you can use to you can head to instead. Okay. It's okay. The one of us can read. <laughs> Shit. Well, I accept. Thanks for the help. And my apologies again. What an embarrassment. I must have made such an elementary mistake. That's okay. I couldn't figure out the ABCs until I was like 12. As the pines led you into the house, Mabel leaves her number. Ah! Fucking hell. As the pines leads you. Ah, blah, 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 blah. As the Pines leads you inside the house, Mabel leaves her number in your phone for you to call whenever, and you find out where Ford's twin goes by Stan. Yep, yep, that's language. I'm gonna leave that in there. <laughs> this part's the house, but outside the door is the Mystery Shack. Hey, have you ever been to the Mystery Shack before? I wanted to, actually. I saw a bumper sticker while I was out on the road and got curious. Ha! Oh, shit. 
those bumper stickers were a good investment, and Sixer says they're too plain and graphically simplistic and don't even have an address on them, Stanley. How is anyone supposed to find the place to attract customers? To attract customers, Sixer. Did you hear that? Well, they're graphically simplistic. I don't know how she found the place, let alone, let alone thought, what is the mystery shack was compelling. Well, I mean, you know, I was led by my heart, my soul. Oh, I, I just liked it. <laughs> Gay. I mean, <laughs> she, she kind of liked it. Hey, I like you, Sim. <gasps> oh my God, I've already been accepted. Oh my God. <laughs> I'll give you a tour oh my god, can I tomorrow. sniff your ears? Regular price. Come here, come here. I just jump on him. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, Mabel! I mean, I. <laughs> this is nothing. This is normal adult behavior. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Tomorrow? Then I'll have to squeeze my get to know you questions in today. Sim, tell me, Capybara? Yes or no? At that moment, a boy passes in the hallway far... At that moment, a boy passes in the hallway at the far doorway, and Ford calls out to him. Dipper, my boy! I'm impressed I didn't see you run out in the scene of the crime. No, oh, he's Dippy! Oh, he's wearing he's a hat. so cute! <clears throat> oh god, I have to... I have to... Like, <laughs> work <for> this. <laughs> he's, <sighs> he's, he's a nervous, sweaty boy. It should be easy. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> Crime? What a crime? I have an alibi! I swear. Oh, you have someone with you? <laughs> hey, I'm not suspicious at all. What did you do? Who did you bring back from the dead, Diffy? Did you guys see the car that's stuck in the, in the side of the shack, though? For a second, I thought the Minotaurs were back with the grudge. Oh, shit. Uh, yes, about that, Dipper. Uh, meet Sim. I've, uh, stranded her car here by accident. Hey, nice to meet a fellow Simp, Dippy. Respect, respect. <laughs> Who's staying here for the time being? Yep. Sorry, stranded her car here? You crashed it? That is correct, child. Yeah! The S and Shack fell on it and everything. And the car windows are cracked. One window. <laughs> oh, my bad. That's your part. I'm sorry. <laughs> One window. The windshield. And Sip was lucky to make it out alive. She's fine. No injuries, thankfully. The magnet gun's rather safe, despite never having been tested in a formal setting. Okay. Yeesh, did you not like take safety precautions or anything? This is your Grunkle Ford. Look at his glasses. This man is clearly prepared for danger. The man's cracked. Cracked, baby. Actually, the irony of the situation is that I was trying to install a safety precaution. Hey, hey, if you two are gonna do your nerd talk, I'm gonna get Zip set up. Oh, oh, Wiggles bro, it's happening. Mabel, sweetie, why don't you show Zip around? Let her stay in, uh, the storage room. That's still empty, right? Why must you tease me like this, Stan <laughs> Stanley? Why? We were this close. <laughs> I'll make it empty. Yeah, that'll work. The rest of the day consisted of Mabel showing you the storage room we'll be staying in. Then the kitchen, and then the living room, and then the hallway, and then the bathroom. And pretty much a comprehensive tour of the mundanity, mun, uh, the of the mundan. <laughs> Mundanities. Thank you. The mundanities of a regular house. Okay, cool. Eventually, you find out that the family is even more extended than you knew. The decorative dolly. Doilies. Doilies. Thank you. Make a lot more sense knowing the grandmother actually lives here, and her grandson Zeus, or was it Zeus? Whatever the name. You look forward to meeting him when he comes to work in the morning. Okay. When you go up to the attic, Mabel opens the door to reveal Dipper. No stuck in his book, but, when, but you catch him occasionally glancing up at you as he pretends to read. The next member of the family snorts up at you from Mabel's bed. A rotund pig who Mabel declares as her best friend and partner in crime. Waddles, 
The two are a perfect match, right down to the chubby cheeks and boobable noses. Aw, that's cute. And in the evening, though you've still been in disbelief over the state of your car, the family dinner and after dinner TV marathon you've been invited to made it seem like a normal guest ugh, made it seem like a normal guest day rather than a forced circumstance. Aw. Returning to the storage room Mabel had shown you earlier, you find an air mattress waiting for you. More pillows and sheets than a summer night's warrant. Ah, oh, there's Bill. There he is. He's not slick. I know where, you're there. Where? He's right there in the window. <laughs> <laughs> you it's still just a triangle. shut up! It's him. Let me project. He, okay, he still okay, remembers okay. the last game. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Sorry. You wake up to the weak glare of sunlight streaming in through the small high window in the wall. You can't remember your room having this kind of feature, or any hotel or motel for that matter. And yesterday comes crashing back to you. Oi! What happened last night? <laughs> You glance at the time to see that you slept into the afternoon. Experiencing the accident yesterday must have left you tired out. And we didn't go to a hospital? Okay. No, no, no. <laughs> we couldn't afford Medicare. Well, no, no injuries. No, well, uh, well, I guess so. The concussions can be... Well, can concussions show? Nah, I guess not. Uh, well, anyways. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> We're just trying About to get a that. lawsuit for Stanford. Uh, anyways. Despite having been assured yesterday evening that you were free from it to do <laughs> Despite being assured yesterday evening that you were free to anything in the fridge, you still feel as though you're imposing on the Pines family and try preparing as a polite preparing a polite a guest breakfast as you can. Okay. You wash your dishes in the sink before you leave. Just as you're about to exit the kitchen, you bump into Ford. Oh excuse me. Oh, uh... <laughs> You're, yes, from yesterday. You already course. forgot me? Your brother's looking more and more sexy. What the fuck, Ford? Damn. For a good solid moment, Ford regards you in an awkward glance. Yeesh. <coughs> uh, dot, dot, dot. Dot, 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 dot. Ford clears his throat. <coughs> what? I believe Stanley's taking a look at your car outside of... You want to be there, Ford. You give a nod and make to. <laughs> you give a nod and make to leave for real this time. When Ford speaks up again, oh. And Sim, I'm sorry for the accident. If I'd been smarter about, well, let's just say it's entirely my fault. And you shouldn't worry about this at all. Aww. When it comes down to it, Stanley does have a knack for cars. I predict you'll be back on the road in a matter of weeks. Aw, that's pure. Weeks? You can't keep the dismay off your face, and it really can't bring you to try either. Aw. What am I gonna do with weeks? I could name a few things. Bro, what? I could name a few things. Bro, Ever what? heard of Plan B? <laughs> <laughs> that was horrible. That was horrible. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for <laughs> the face, <laughs> the face right after that joke. <laughs> Anyways, uh, Ford, who'd gone into a kind of uncomfortable and closed off when your face fell, <laughs> recovers at the prospect of a question he can answer. <sighs> well, there's a town tour, of course. Yeah. And. The mystery shack. I don't know why you seem so angry about it. But if you ask me, it pales in comparison to. Hold on. You hear that? Ford turns to the kitchen doorway to investigate. Sounds like. The sound comes again, and this time you hear it as well. The squeal of a pig followed by a pair of quick footsteps running down the stairs. Waddles tumbles past the open kitchen doorway, and Mabel comes into view soon after. A few sheets of paper paper clutched in hand. Blech. Ford quickly steps out of the kitchen, and you follow to the doorway, getting there just in time to see a t apparent tug of war between Mabel and her pet pig over a saliva-covered sheet of paper. The paper rips and nearly toppling backwards from her efforts. Blech, blech, blech. The paper rips and nearly topping... 
Jesus Christ. Okay, I got this. The paper rips and nearly. I got this. I I got this. Stop. Rip paper from Waddle's jaw. I. And lifting both pieces up victorious. You know what? Fine, fine. My lips failed on me. I I got spiky. Fucking hell. Ha ha! Mabel wins again. Now I gotta find Grunkle Ford. Ford, who had run forward and held a hand out to steady his. his, his, his ah! Ford, who run, who, Ford, who'd run forward and held the hand out to steady this energetic child when she had been in danger of toppling over, now finds a number of crumpled sheets of paper shoved into his hands. Mabel tugs urgently at his coat. Okay, there we go. Uncle Ford, you gotta help me! Ford kneels down to face Mabel with a serious and concerned look. Slow down, Mabel. What's the matter? Dipper found a stack of pages from your old journals, and I walked in, and Waddles ran up and started eating it, eating one. He must have been chewing on it to warn me, Grunkle Ford, because look! Mabel takes the ripped halves of the paper back from Ford. <laughs> Mabel takes the <laughs> Help me. Mabel takes the ripped halves of the paper back from Ford's hands and joins them together, holding it up for Ford to see. I see. And you took this as a warning? Yes! It says here that it eats small dogs! And Waddles is a small pig! But it sort of looks like a dog from far away! And Models must have feared for his life! Ugh. Waddles seems to second this motion with a snort. Or not. It seems as though the pig is lounging adorably <laughs> adorably a short distance away in the hallway. Thank God for editing. <laughs> you can't imagine what this dangerous predator could be. Some kind of wolf? Something bigger? You're suddenly not so keen on staying anymore. Remember the pterodactyl? Yeah, I can't believe you said that. Remember the pterodactyl I told you about? Waddles was so scared at that time. I can't let him leave my side. Pterodactyl? You suppose pigs were allowed in museums around here? Hmm. Oh, that's your. Sorry. That's all good. <laughs> How about I finish that repellent that I never got around to completing? That'll keep Waddles from. Ah, that'll keep Waddles safe from harm. Mabel's flop. <laughs> See what I'm talking about? Mabel's. Yep. I keep putting an S at it. Fuck. Mabel flops down on the floor in relief. Runkle Ford, you're an actual lifesaver. Waddles, you have nothing to fear. Ford chuckles, lifting himself up <laughs> of the kneel and standing up. All right. I'll go get my recipe. Aw. Ford turns to leave, and you suddenly remember that with nothing better to do for weeks, you're going to be here. It wouldn't hurt to get to know Ford. He seems to know that there is to, what there is to do around town anyway. You'll need that to not die of boredom in the first week. Or, more pressingly, you could go check on your car and see what Stan's made of it so far. You're not exactly eager to face seeing your car in that state of the house again, though. Oh, oh, big decision time. Big decision. Big decision, big decision. This dude forgot about me five minutes. He broke my car. I'm gonna go check yeah, on my car. Good. I'm gonna go check on my baby. Fuck you. After Ford leaves, <laughs> after <laughs> he just whistles away. After Ford leaves, Mabel rolls away with her pig towards the living room, and you head out of the house and search for Stan. Let's go. The mystery shack should only have four main sides, but you feel as though you've made your rounds past five of them before finally seeing your absolute wreck of a car. You swear it looks even worse than when you crashed it. Damn it, he broke my car. Stan stands before it, hands on his hips as he looks at the large wooden S that's made its indent in the car's hood. Yikes. How bad is it? Uh, can't tell you yet. Not till I get this letter off the hood. That S never did like to stay in place. Mystery hack, huh? Oh, I'll do that again. Mystery hack, huh? Look, if you're gonna insult me... Oh! You're reading the sign. I'm fixing that later, all right? Just avert your eyes. Don't look at it. Turns and directly stares at it. <laughs> Offer to help him, let him do it himself. I'll help him. I mean, he's nice to me, I guess. I guess we should fix it as soon as possible, then. Good to me. Give me a hand here, would ya? Oh, give me more than that. I'm sorry. <laughs> Stan directs you to help push the wooden S off the car. It stalls a little in its own dent, but with another firm shove, it meets its end with the ground. And it, it toppled over. Stan gives it another push with a grunt, 
It, it tips, falling completely to the ground with a whoop. Now that it's free from its burden, Stan lifts up the dented hood of the car to take a look inside. He hums and huzz and rubs a hand over his chin in thought. <laughs> hey, there he goes. Walking over to his toolbox and grabbing a tool before walking back and assessing Aha. the damage. <laughs> yeah, this one's gonna take a while. You've got parts that need replacing. Not to mention, she's not gonna look so hot after this. Not unless Ford's got a tech, got the tech squirreled away somewhere that can smooth out these dents. The more he tells you of your situation, the more it sinks in. You really are stuck here. Stan spots your worried frown. Hey, uh, simp, right? Yep, that's me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Look, I know how this sounds, but with me on the job. My crypto suckers. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> God dang it. That was gross. <laughs> Are you okay? I got a little flip stuck in the back of my throat. Sorry. You think so? Kid, I know so. I've even got a plan to get those replacement parts of yours. Might not be able to clean up all the scuff marks after I'm done, but she'll run. Aww. And hey, so maybe you've got a couple days... So what? There are worse places to get stranded, believe me. Mm? In fact, I'd even say the Mystery Shack is the best place to get stranded. We've got all tons of stuff for people passing through. Merchandise, magic, mystery, and uh, other M words. Mayhem, you, you, you get the idea. Stan tosses the tool in his hand back in the toolbox, exchanging it for another. He works for a while longer in your silence. Metallic clinks and the occasional heavy breath, all that mixes with oh. <laughs> all that mixes <laughs> I got distracted. <laughs> all that mixes with the sound of the outdoors. You stand awkward, uncomfortable, and a little useless. And a little, uh, anyways. Can I help with anything? Know anything about cars? Uh vroom vroom. Does that count? No. No, it does not. Oh shit, I missed the text. Okay. Uh, oh, no, that was me. Okay. No. Oh. Uh-oh. Okay, I fixed it. Stan straightens, cracks uh, his back. Uh, <laughs> Damn! <laughs> and sets Stan a tool before leaning casually against the nearest load-bearing surface. He wipes his forehead and lets his hand fall to his waist and gives you an assessing look. Ooh, you stare at me, boy? How about collages, tall tales, improv? Yeah, I think I can handle that, but what does that have to do with this? You gesture at your stranded car, held in limbo between life and death by nothing other than Stan Pine's car expertise and a little luck. <laughs> nothing. I was planning on having you help Zeus with run the shack, but uh, a favor for a favor. What do you say? It's more interesting than helping Ford with his pest problem. You accept. All right, follow me. Let's go. You follow Stan back into the mystery shack, passing by the showroom and getting a glimpse of the energetic figure leading a flock of tourists through a veritable, veritable sea of obviously fabricated oddities. There we go. <laughs> you hear the words, and this uh, is the... Oh, wait, okay, sorry about that. You go. <laughs> and you hear the words... And this is the ninth wonder of the world, right in the mystery shack. It's what makes this place world famous, dudes. Yeah, dudes. <laughs> Stan notices your pace slowing as you listen and tosses an explanation back for you. That's Zeus. During operating hours, he's the mystery shack's one and only Mr. Mystery. I told him he didn't have to keep the shack running while he's on vacation, but the kid's got a passion for the role. You, uh, interested in this kind of stuff? I was thinking about going on a tour. It feels weird now that you're staying at, a, staying at a tourist trap. Though, you were kind of going to poke fun at the exhibits harder. Uh, it feels weird now that you're staying at a tourist trap, though. You, <laughs> it feels weird now that you're staying at a tourist trap, though. 
and you were kind of going to poke fun at the exhibits. Harder to do when you live around your tour guide. <laughs> it's fine, really. Hold up. <laughs> I got a mouthful of crackers. <laughs> Eat your crackers. He's, he's, he's having his little midday snack. Like, um, <laughs> chase yourself. That. Pace yourself. No. I think I want to give you a tour of the place. You'll get one from the founder himself. You ever hear of one of my plugs on the radio? What, what, what kind of plugs are we talking about? Butt ones. <laughs> Interesting, interesting. Uh, PG channel. Uh, you weren't really paying oh, attention. <laughs> you weren't really no. paying. <laughs> you weren't really paying attention to the radio during the drive. Just taking in the Oregon scenery. See the signs pointing at this place for a mile down the road. Uh huh. Again, you were preoccupied with the Oregon scenery. But you guess you did see some signs with question marks on them. That's some vague advertising. Just seeing what works. Bumper stickers, huh? Ha! Still got one on Ford. Anyway, follow me, folks. Well, folk. Get ready and be amazed. Stan starts leading you back the way. <laughs> yes, starts leading you back the way you came. You trail behind him, a little skeptical, but definitely curious. Oh, I'm curious, all right. I'm curious to see that grunt cussy. <laughs> Anyways, uh, didn't you say the founder would lead this tour? Is Seuss the founder? Stan laughs. <laughs> Car. <laughs> <laughs> Crunko Stan, you're an <laughs> asshole! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, there was just a fucking car honking. Like, I'm sorry. Uh, oh, I thought he was like, no. I thought after he like, I thought he laughed and then he was like, he's like, haha, car broke. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> no, I'm the founder. Built this place from the ground up. That's a fucking lie. <laughs> like, canonically, that's a fucking lie. Yeah. <laughs> Well, metaphorically speaking, I, I mean, the house was here and the junk was here, but I was the one who spun this place into a wondrous house of mysterious junk. I stand corrected. Fuck me, then. Stan gestures with his arm like he's about... Okay. Stan gestures with his arm like he's shooting out a rainbow. You're not very impressed. Ta-da! <laughs> Prepare to be amazed. Wow! You're still not very impressed, but his energy gets you hoping you'll be amazed anyway. Aww. There's a tour group in the showroom right now, so I'll be taking you on a different cycle that completely misses it. Completely. <laughs> you got this, you got this. So I'll be taking you on a completely different cycle that completely misses them. We're starting off in the gift shop. Oh my goodness, Dan. You giving me a private tour? Oh, I'm not worthy. I'm not worthy. <sighs> you enter the gift shop, a simple room crowded top to bottom with the standard tourist souvenirs and merchandise. You see t-shirts with question marks, mugs with question marks, and pretty much everything that has question marks. In one corner of the room stands a lumpy attempt of a statue labeled the founder. Recognizable as Stan only by the nose and glasses, of course. Iconic. Definitely iconic. Definitely <laughs> iconic. <laughs> Slay. Slay queen. Mm -hmm. This usually comes after I butter up the customers to buying things. But since you're staying a while, I'll have plenty of time to sell you stuff later. We love an opportunistic queen. Take a look around. If you see an impulse buy, make it. Nothing like trusting your instincts. Yeah, I'll take I'll take the bear head for fifty. Uh, a couple of those uh, Grunkle Stan dildos and that T-shirt in the back. How's that? PG channel. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, it's more like rated like sixteen plus. If anything. Okay. Oh wow, you can actually choose something. Oh shit. Okay. Uh. Oh wow. Um. I guess I'll take your statue from you. Sorry. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. You're just grandpa's eating his snacks. Let him be. Yeah. Should I ask him able to carve it? 
You gotta admit that version of me's got a charming smile, though. Okay, okay. Okay, so this is just a bunch of nothing. All right. Uh, I guess I'll do the pine tree hat, because I love Dipper, and then we can move on. Dipper used to wear one of those. Stoos tells me they sold like hotcakes after Ford tossed his journals into a bottomless pit. Funny how those events have no correlation. Oh, sure, sure. Journals? Bottomless pit? We'll have a chance to swing by the bottomless pit later. It's a prime spot on every tour because the troublemakers always accidentally trip in and get let on let on the tour without them for 20 minutes. Oh yeah, you know, I think I visited that a while ago with the triangle, but I ended up falling for infinity. So you might see me in there. Ha! <laughs> I'm kidding. Should have seen the look on your face. Alright, alright, alright. Cool, cool, cool. I'm done. You sure? Well, I think I hear the gr the tour group heading out of the showroom anyway. Yeah. Now, most tourists don't appreciate my, I mean, nature's artistic genius, by which I mean my artistic genius, because I remembered you're going to help me out today. Ooh, what are we doing? Um, throat got a little dry there. Sorry about that. It's fine. It's fine. Drink some water, <laughs> Uncle Stan. It's fine. Take your time. You don't think up a money-making wonder like the Sasquatch by having a boring 9-to-5 office job. You think it up when you wonder, why hasn't anyone found the Sasquatch? Could it be that its name has been mispronounced this, this whole time? <gasps> oh my goodness. Anyway, just let me know when you've soaked up enough inspiration from this room, because you're going to need to use it right after. Oh my goodness gracious, I'm so inspired. So uh, <laughs> Looks left, see squares. Looks right, see squares. Looks down, Soak. sees pants. All right, we're Soak. ready. <laughs> soak, <laughs> soak, Grunkle Sand just chants quietly. Soak, 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 soak. soak. soak it all in. <laughs> I'm trying, Grunkle Stan, I'm trying. <laughs> You're supposed to soak longer. <laughs> He's just shoving fucking crackers into his mouth. <laughs> He's just... His back's turned as you're, like, looking around, and he has a whole box of chip ackers. <laughs> he didn't eat breakfast today. He was too busy fixing your car. I'm so sorry. He was trying... podcasting. <laughs> Don't worry sorry, about it. It's just, it's just funny because I just pictured him like, I'm going, go ahead, soak in the environment. And then like, he just slowly turns around. He just goes, put like two chips, two fucking like crackers in his mouth. Yeah. And then as soon as, as soon as he fucking does, you'd hear, okay, I'm done. Okay, I'm done. This so longer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fucking beautiful. <laughs> sorry, Grandpa All right. Stan. All right, come on. You're gonna see what makes this place the mystery shack instead of just the shack. We're making another attraction for the showroom. Is it the love shack? <laughs> no. <laughs> love doesn't sell as good, I'm sorry. <laughs> have, you, have you been love to Vegas? Does not sell as good, I'm afraid. <laughs> <laughs> my heart. Okay, okay, okay. We just got started. <laughs> talking about the love shack. Uh, okay, oh yeah. my god. Yeah, oh my goodness. You follow Stan through the living room to the kitchen. There was stuffing. Ooh, whoops. <laughs> whoops. Uh, you follow Stan through the. <laughs> you follow. <laughs> You follow Stan through the living room to the kitchen, where stuffing and animal parts were strewn across the surface to your left. Stan pulls out a... <laughs> I need to stop. I need help. <laughs> I have trigger words now. Fuck. Okay. Stan pulls out a thick needle and a spool of thread. As a... And as an afterthought, adds a couple of nails and a hammer to the pile. 
It seems a little unsanitary to do this right across from the fridge and has the potential to look almost gruesome if it weren't so oddly cartoonish. He steps up to the workspace and pulls a googly eye. Uh, he steps up to the workspace and pulls at the googly eyes that have been glued over the lifeless glassy ones, typical of taxidermy. Mabel's contribution <laughs> Mabel's contributions to the craft project remain firmly intact. Huh. That's what I get for letting Mabel bring her stash of scrapbooking supplies. That's one more thing to add to the backstory. Ooh, backstory? What? You really don't think tourists are dumb enough to believe that the thing you're selling them is what you tell them? It is just like that, do you? Oh, snap. I thought I was stupid. I'm sorry. Because if you do... You'll get, you'll be set to, oh my goodness. <laughs> you got this, you got this. T pace yourself. Yeah, I just gotta read it before I actually say it. I know, it's so hard, you just wanna like dive in, but go for it, go for it. Because if you do, you'll be set to do business in Gravity Falls. Anywhere else, though, customers take a little more work. See, every good piece comes with some sort of, some kind of story. Or if you're Poindexter, some kind of lore. Horror stories work pretty well, because with enough suggestions, people can always find ways to spook themselves. Done it for years. Kind of an art. Oh, you're an artiste. Oh, you're so unappreciated in your time, Stanley. Stan appears nonchalant, but you can see quiet pride within him. Aw. Sounds easy. So I'm gonna stroke his ego. Let's go. That's why I'm here. To make sure you do it right. Oh, that backfired on me. Fuck. You're still doing all the work, though. Oh, thanks. Y you said you've done this for years? Always had a knack for it. Even when I was a kid. Sure, there was a little learning curve involved. And I've had a few unhappy customers over the years. Stan pauses, seemingly to reminisce. The mixed smile grimace on his face tells you he probably had many unhappy customers. Like, many, many. Because I fucking missed the line. But mostly, I've run, a, I've run a great business on telling lies. I mean, stories. You're learning from a true master, kid. Okay. Oh, all options. So why don't you run this place anymore? You'll look like you're still part of the place. What was your original version of the shack? Let's get to the surface. I'm not gonna torture us with any more talk, so let's just get to it. Stan turns his back to the workspace and you notice one more, once more the daunting selection of items that lay across the table. It's not the number, but the variety that makes you unsure of how you're going to grab something out of this. Yeah, I don't know what you're gonna do with this stuff. Surprise me. Yes, sir. I won't let you down, Mr. Pines. Stan walks off to the side. You guess, do some work of his own. You're glad he's not going to watch you the whole way through, though. All right, here we go. How are we going to do this? All right. Piece things, <laughs> piece together as many things as you can. Piece together as many disparate parts as you can find. Or mix a <laughs> nice mix. Uh, let's go uh, match and mismatch. That seems to fit. Okay. Now, how should you keep these parts attached? Uh, this, is, uh, this is pretty good. It's pretty crafty. I like it. Uh, use some hand stitching and really tie this all together. Use the stay voice faster. Hammer and nails, obviously. Well, I'm gonna do the stitching, obviously. They make it sound all fancy. Alright. Okay. You have a base to work off. What's next? Uh, add some sculpted details. Color in the, the fur to accent the glue the eyes. Just call it a day. Um... What do you think? Let's, 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 let's I, I would say either sculpted details or just call it a day because less is more. Yeah. Um. Let's go call it a day. I think we're good. Hey, Stan! I'm finished! Good enough. Oh, I worked hard on this. Stan picks up your disturbing creation gingerly. So, what's the story here? Give it to me. It, it's the story of my undying simpage for you, Grunkle Stan. Th this shows how <laughs> I feel. <laughs> gay. <laughs> you know what? If this is gay, I accept. 
Oh, I mean, uh, how do you want to approach this? More fact than fiction, more fiction than fact. Just have fun with it. Just have fun with it. Go with it. Yeah. It's a, uh, fish quirkin. A fish squirrel chicken. Oh, a, a fish quirkin. Yeah. Fish quirkin. Fish quirkin. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> I like that laugh. Stan nods appraisingly. Sounds like you got the hang of this. Yes! All right, this thing's about as close to show ready as it gets. Yes! Wait here a sec. Yes! I'm so happy, I made him proud of me! Stan carries the showpiece out of the room. Yes! After a few moments, you hear his footsteps return, and he comes to the room with two cans of pit cola. <gasps> he got a drink for me! Stan stands, <laughs> Stan sets one down on the dining table in condensation starting to slow drip onto the table surface. He waves you over to join him. You slide into the sea across from him. Nothing like a cold one to finish up the day. Cheers! Cheers! He picks up his can, gesturing it towards you with it as he leans leisurely back in his chair. And you watch as he takes a sip. Yeah, watching them grunky lips. He takes a nice, it's a nice looking sip, and now you're staring. Oh, oh, finally, finally. Thank you, game. You pull over your own can and pop it open. Yes. So, got any questions for me? What's your sign? <laughs> I'm a Gemini. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a Cancer, how you doing? How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Talking Denzies me into a new place. Might as well do the same for you. Okay. Uh, about four to explain. Uh, let's talk about him. Let's keep building him up. So, tell me about yourself. Stan laughs nervously. <laughs> uh. <laughs> what is this? A first date? Yes! That's what I wanted all along! You finally got wise! Well, uh, I'm Pines, Stan Pines, Imaginator, Town Darling, used to be proprietor of the Mystery Shack. Uh-huh, uh-huh. He pauses and stays paused. You give him an expectant look at <laughs> oh, <laughs> what that wants him to continue, and he clears his throat nervous. What, you're serious? I don't uh, get this often. The longest I can get people to listen to me is when I'm selling them something. Uh, it's even even then it's tough luck. <laughs> Last time someone listened to me, they tried to eat me. Can you believe that? I barely got I barely got much meat left on me. It's a nice amount of meat too. And keep going. You can't just end it there. Stan gives an uncertain smile, which becomes a full-on grin, and he laughs. <laughs> All right, I'll tell you. So you see, there's this irresistible thing called revenge. Ooh. Stan tells you his tale of a road trip, a mountain full of mummies and a woman who was secretly a spider. You don't believe a word of it, but you find yourself enjoying it anyways. Stan knows how to hold his audience with a decent suspense. And he seems to light up whenever you laugh at the right parts and grinning along with you. Ooh. Before today, you've never even heard of Mr. Mystery before. But now you feel like you're really seeing something special here. One on one with the man himself. That's right, baby. All right, let's see. Uh, I guess we can talk about Ford, bitch. Uh, is Ford usually like that? You mean trying to fix what ain't broken and ended up making trouble? Ooh. Nah, he was the good twin growing up. Aww. You were the troublemaker. I could tell. Ha! <laughs> Ah, uh, well, uh... <laughs> Lucky for you, I like trouble. <laughs> <laughs> you have no idea. Yes. Alright, uh... Do we... Okay, can we do that? You're really interested in me, huh? Or do you ask everyone these kind of questions? No, just you. Just, just you. Oh! Oh! <laughs> you already know who it is. It's your boy, Simpage. I'm just interested in you. All right. Ever heard of smuggling pugs? Uh, yes. I'm Mexican. You're lying, cause everyone in the business is gonna keep it secrets. Really good. Uh huh. 
So why am I telling you now? I'm out of the business. I don't care. Oh god, give me a second. Yep, <laughs> take your time, take your time. That's a rough voice to do. Careful, careful. Ah. You got this, you're fine. This absolutely isn't so that if the authorities question you and, and you'll give them false information that leads them off my trail. <laughs> right, right, sure, sure, sure. Stan loads you with false information that may or may not contain the kernels of truth within them. It's surprisingly hard to tell whether the crazier parts are embellishment or the real deal. Okay. Uh, we're good, because we know about the exhibits. Let's just go to the question. Uh, we're done. Stan finally tips his head back to get that final sip of pit. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> then he finally empties his can down with an air of fi finality. Well, Simp, you did good for your first day. If you feel like helping me out again sometime, returning the favor on the car, let me know. Can we do it now? You nod, and Stan gets up to leave when you remember something. Wait, I still owe you for the price of admission, right? For the tour earlier? Hmm? Nah, don't worry about it. Aw. <laughs> Gives me something to hold over your head if that, I need it. <laughs> that is so something he would do. That is so cute. It's perfect. He says that and leaves, but even from what little you've seen of him, you feel like Stan's not really the type to hold that over you. At least, not anything serious. Aww. The tourist trap might have more to offer you than you thought. Aww. Aww! That's so cute! I love, <laughs> I love this. Oh, I know that's Mabel. I hear caterers. I hear wedding bells. Huh, looks like this is actually working out. Let's go! <laughs> I love, oh. I love the fucking grumpy ass stand picture. That is great. <laughs> I made the right choice. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this game is a treasure. It's a national treasure. Oh my goodness. It's fucking wonderful. Oh wow. Oh wow. Okay, okay, okay. So we're gonna leave it there because we've been at this for a little while. But that was so fun. So. Wait, what did you think, Grunkle Spikey? I think my throat thanks you for uh, ending this right here, actually. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, I can't torture too too much, Grunkle Spikey. I'm sorry. <laughs> eh, I'll get over it. Yay! Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I will link <laughs> Spikey's uh, YouTube and his Twitter in the description below. Go support him. Seriously, he does great work. Uh, for now, this is going to be the end of the episode, but we will pick it up next time whenever we're, our throats finish healing, because this was a lot. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye! See ya. <laughs> I almost touched the grunkle butt. These are the bloopers. <laughs> Giant redwoods. <laughs> Damn it. But didn't you head back? Where? Setting. Oh wait, car, car. Mood. Oh, that's a motorcycle. Mood. You hear it? <laughs> yeah, I heard it. It's fucking loud. Oh wait, let me get rid of myself. Oh, nice one. <laughs> Thank you. So, my darling friend oh, yeah. Spiky. I can't see. The, I can't see the screen. What? Go for it, sunshine. Hey, Dipper. Bring me my stovers. <laughs> yes. Okay, now do your do your Ford because I gotta gauge both of these so that way we can get this accurate. Not that I'm. What was that? Do, do your do your Stanford your voice. We gotta make sure we get that one good. From what I've learned, the number one thing that we have to remember between the two of us is that I need more pictures of Spider Man's asshole. Dude. Oh, there goes another one. Oh, oh, I'll just I'll just do it again. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay. It's fine. There, there'll be a few cuts. It's fine. Okay, go for it. All right, start talking. Start talking. We gotta make sure everything's right. Blind, blind cocks. Blind cocks. Cocks. Blind cocks. cocks. Penis. Penis. I don't know how I feel about this. Well, 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 comes well, 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 This is a test. We are testing. This is a test scene. Make sure you can hear each other. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, okay, that's enough. Pixel is being choked. I do. Hehehehe <laughs>